I'm teaching you how to read one word at a time, and today we're looking at this doozy. I'm going to start by identifying the sounds of the vowels, because if you can read the vowels, you can read the word. This first vowel, A, has to be looked at as a unit with that R. A, R is a grapheme that says R, as in art or car. This A is going to follow what I call the tap two rule, which is a typical reading pattern that you'll see in a lot of words. If the next two letters are consonants, then the vowel will make its short sound. So this A is going to say A. Ah. That is marked by what's called a brev. I'm going to skip this U for a minute. I'm going to come right back to it. I want you to look at this A. When A is almost to the end of a multi-syllable word, a long word, and there's a consonant or two after it, then that A is going to change to the schwa sound and say A. Uh. The schwa sound is the name of the sound. The sound is a. Uh. Every vowel can change to the schwa sound in some instances that I'll teach you. Like in this instance, when a comes almost to the end of a multisyllable word and there's a consonant after it, that a will say a. Uh. That is represented by a symbol that looks like an upside down e. Now back to this u, I want you to look at this tu as a unit. When you see this tu toward the end of a multisyllable word and there's a vowel after it, that tu will say chu. Isn't that the funnest fact you've heard all day? So this is going to sound like chu. And I also want you to take a look at these g's because g has two sounds. It's hard sound, g, and it's soft sound, j. But you don't have to wonder which sound it's going to make. All you have to do is look at the very next letter. If the very next letter is an e, i, or y, then that g will make its soft sound and say j. If not, if that next letter is anything else, then that g will say g as in these two G's. There's an A after them. There's not an E, I, or Y after them. So they're going to say their typical hard sound, G. Now, we are ready to blend all of the sounds in this word. I'm going to dot each sound and then connect the dots slowly all in one breath. It looks like this. G, R, G, A, N, CHU, A, N. Now I'm going to do what's called successive blending, which is where you blend just two chunks of sound at a time, going back to the beginning, starting again, and then grabbing the next sound. It looks like this. Gar, garg, garga, gargan, garganchu, garganchuwa, Garganchuan. Gargantuan. Now, if you can define that word for us, please put that in the comments. And if you want to know how to read another word, put that in the comments for me as well. And if you want to learn how to read a hundred of these kinds of words, plus hundreds of nonsense words, then I invite you to join me in my adult reading class. That information is in my profile. And I'll see you in the next video.